Hello and welcome, my name is Parky and today we're going to be doing the first of hopefully many Q&A videos on my channel. Now I alluded to this a few months ago, I don't know if it was a few months, it feels like it, ago on my channel that I was going to start doing these. Mostly due to the fact that I want to start engaging more with you guys, because I feel that it's important to actually give something back in terms of answering questions and just any general queries that you have about me. Now you have to excuse my glasses glare, unfortunately I can't really do much about that, it's one of the perks of being slightly blind constantly. However, I've got some questions written down from the last video where I sort of did an introduction to this. Now basically the way this is going to work is I'm not going to favour particular people over others, I've got the, the tankard, the tankard of truth is what I'm going to call it, is the label. So if you want to get your question into the tankard of truth, you have to say it like that every time else, it doesn't count then you must leave your, com your comments in the video description this time. Okay, so I've got some questions written down in here. You're going to have to forgive the format of this. I'm hopefully going to improve things as I go along, as I learn what the hell I'm doing, because I'm not used to doing vlogs. I'm used to making game videos. However, the first question that I have chosen from the, the, the Chalice of Truth, or whatever it is called, I've forgotten already, is from Sane Beasley on YouTube. Pokemon Red or Blue? I think I'm going to have to say Pokemon Red with this. It was one of the first games that I got on Game Boy. It was one of the first games that I truly feel very um, close to. I love Pokemon. I still do. I'm a big nerd for Pokemon. I could probably name every single one in existence. Maybe not some of the newer ones, because they're a bit weird now. They kind of turn into things like a chair with a face. Cherry. And things like that. And like that sword one. There's like one with a sword with a face on it or something. I don't know. Pokemon are really weird now. I'm more of the original Pokemon fan, so that's what I'm going to stick with. I'm going to try and get through as many of these as I can in every episode, because there was a lot of questions on the last video, and I'm hoping that you guys are going to leave as many on this one. Okay, so this one is from Nevermore55. Are you and Kips going to do any more games together in the near future? Now, for those who don't know who Kips is, which I'd be very surprised, he is one of my greatest friends on YouTube that I've made. We've done quite a few series together, mostly on Minecraft, um, but we haven't done anything for a while. And this is something I really wanted to talk to him about. He's, he's on holiday at the moment, so unfortunately I can't. But we would like to do something. I don't know what this something is. I had this brilliant idea of doing maybe like a fighting fantasy-esque novel. Because I, I mentioned this in the Sims uh, video recently. Like, no one does Dungeons & Dragons that much. I, well, I've, I've not found any on YouTube that are that good. Um, I know, I'm sure there's loads of people who've done them. But I'd like to do maybe a few videos on that if we can, try and figure out some sort of format for that. But I'm not sure. I'm going to talk to him about it. We'll figure it out. I'm sure something will happen. Okay, the next question. Of truth. Of truth. <laughs> Why is everything of truth that I'm not lying? Is from Plushy Chan. What's the story behind the radiator, Santa? Which is right there. Oh, look how smooth that was. I pointed in the right direction this time. I must definitely be getting used to this um, reversed world. It's reverse world day, everyone. Uh, the Radiator Santa, there isn't much of a story behind him. He is just left over from Christmas. <laughs> I'm sorry if you're hoping for something more. He has just been there since Christmas. And I have not taken him down. He was in a couple of videos and then he became sort of a thing. And now I'm stuck with a Radiator Santa. Magnetic Santa just in my house all year long in all of my videos. So that's a thing. Thanks everyone for influencing what's in my house. <laughs> okay, the next question. God, we're rocketing through these. We need some ones that I can discuss a bit more. That might be interesting. Okay, this one is from Guardsman77. What were my feelings about Facecam before and what made me use it more? Um, Facecam, I never really felt comfortable showing my face on the internet because frankly, there's this whole thing on the internet of, like, you're, you're a bit of a weirdo, so I don't really want to give you any personal information about myself that would allow you to track my life down. Unfortunately, I have had a couple of weirdos that have really sort of looked into me and found me on things like Facebook and other stuff and tried to, like, become friends on everything. But we're, we're not going to mention that. I'm sure they're very nice people, maybe just a bit over the top. But, yeah, uh, that was one of my major off-puts. But the thing that made me do it was that um, I have Patreon. Um, this isn't a plug, this is just genuinely 
why I've started doing face cam. For those of you who don't know, I have a Patreon page. It's basically like a secure platform where you can support your favorite YouTube creators. And um, I've been using all that money going back into the channel. Um, I've got this brilliant guy on there who's really helped me for the last few months called SS. I won't give his full name because I'm not sure if he's comfortable with me doing it. And he's been supporting me, basically funding Parker's Shorts, which is like one of the strangely most expensive series to upkeep. Uh, I don't like talking about money, but yeah. And basically, I put all this money back into the channel. I said that if I got $100 a month, I would start doing face cam because it would allow me to actually buy a face cam and fund all that. And that's basically what I've started doing. We should have a counter for how many times I said basically in that answer. But yeah, that's why. So thank you, SS. You are, you have done this to me. And I tell you what, this, this video can be your personal thanks from me right now. So thank you. Okay, the next question. Let's go for this one. I hope it's a good one. <laughs> Where I don't ramble and say basically 500 times. Do you have consoles or just a PC? And that's from Joseph Makita on YouTube. Well, Joseph Makita, I do. I have both PC and console. Uh, in singular form. I don't have consoles. I used to have a PS3 and Xbox 360. Um, I preferred the Xbox 360, unfortunately. Um, well, I say unfortunately because I'm now a massive PS4 fanboy. <laughs> it's just because it's genuinely better. I'm sorry if you prefer the Xbox One. I was a massive fan of the Xbox 360, but when the PS4 came out, there's, there's not much competition in my mind. So yeah, that, I think that's a fair comment to make from me. I'm not biased. Um, so yeah, all of my videos, obviously, I make on my PC. Um, so I sort of treat this as more of like my... My YouTube domain! <laughs> what the hell was that? And um, so basically, when I, when I actually play games to relax, I play them on the PS4. Uh, I'm not really willing to give out my PS4... Well, you can, you can find my PS4 name, it's Parky Games. No, no shit, right? But um, I'm not really going to accept anyone on that, just because it's, like, it's my chill zone. I don't wanna, don't wanna mix the two zones, you know, chill, work and chill. Not that this is really work, but you know what I mean. So yeah, sorry if you really wanna do that. You can add me on Steam though. Uh, there's a link in the description, I've got a Steam group that you can join. And I might start doing stuff with that in the future, I don't know. I've got more time at the moment, so who knows. Okay, the next question, and possibly the last depending on how I feel today, because whatever is why did you st this is a big one why did you decide to get into youtube that's from carly karma i've seen you commenting a lot on my videos carly thank you very much see personal thanks this is what i like i like actually communicating with you guys it makes a lot of sense i said so why did i get into youtube well i've been doing youtube for about five years now if you can believe it and yes i'm not as big as some other people do I think that a lot of YouTube is down to luck of the draw? I do. Um, there's a lot of people about my size that have got brilliant quality videos. I'm not saying that I'm the best in the world. I'm not saying I've got the best quality. My, I mean, for example, this, I'm using a face cam. It's not like I haven't got fancy cameras or anything. But I like to think that I'm quite okay at what I do. And yeah, this is completely off topic. This can be a different question. I'm not going to go into this. How did I start YouTube? I was watching other people. Where about five years ago, I just really, and I still really enjoy watching other people doing Let's Plays, you know, playthroughs of things, montages, stuff like that. And that just really got me into it. At the time, I was a real fan of Toby Games in particular. Guess where the name came from? <laughs> Slightly. Not saying I stole it, kind of regret it, but whatever. Parky Games is my channel now. There's no connotation to Toby Games at all. Uh, but yeah, I he was like my big fanboyism back then. Not so much anymore. So yeah, I just saw other people doing it, and I thought, why not give that a shot yourself? And I started out with Fable 3, which was one of my most closest to my heart ventures on YouTube, even though it is one of my most terrible, because it is my first. Maybe I'll put a link in the description to that, if you want to cringe at my five-year younger self. But yeah, that's, that's basically the story. Not that exciting. Okay, well, I think I'll do one more, because why not? The chalice is calling me. The chalice of truth has changed already. It's not even the thing anymore. So let's go for... Random draw. Random draw. I've picked two out. God, I can't get my hand in it. Okay, here we go. That was smooth, wasn't it, everyone? <laughs> Fucking hell. Favourite category of games. This is from Michael Widell. Well, Michael Widell. <laughs> if that's how you say your name, I'm sorry. 
My favourite category of games, I, there isn't one in particular that I like. I do... I have a fondness for fantasy games and that sort of setting. Games where I'm in sort of an open world scenario where I can go around and collect things. I'm definitely a collector. That is something that I like doing in games. I love... Well, I like the Assassin's Creed games. I played the first and second and like them. Then I sort of... You're a bit bored because they're all kind of the same, but just reskinned, which I know a lot of people hate people saying, but it is true. I just, you know, I was a big fan of the first two. Um, just things like that. I, I really like Infamous. Those games are really good. Just like open world things where I can basically go and trash the place. That's what I like. I like doing that. Okay, well, this seems like a good place to end this first video. I hope it wasn't too rambly and my glasses or myself weren't too reflecty. I don't know why myself would be reflecting, it's because I'm such a, a bright spark in this dark world. Let's just say that. Well, if you enjoyed the video and want to leave your comments and questions below, then please do because it, the likelihood is that I will answer them next time. And subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, awkward, awkward goodbye. Awkward.